Um, just you know, do all the walkthroughs, the run-throughs, whatever, and you know, go through the lists multiple times with Coach Lynn or with Bobby T. And uh, it's the same process for me, just lowering a little bit of the physical load. Coach, is there any chance in your mind that you won't play this year? Zero. They're really good. You know, they they got a lot of really good players up front. The linebackers fly the ball well. Their secondary is talented, um, and you know they just they pose a lot of challenges in a lot of different areas. So uh, for us, it'll be about us and executing and making sure we take care of you know everything we need to take care of on each and every play and eliminate mistakes. How's your offensive line? I mean, have you kind of adapted to them over the last couple of months? How, how much more comfortable are you running? Behind? I feel great running about yeah, I and mean, they're they're so talented and so detail oriented and I think just understanding the purpose for every play is important and where we want to go with the ball and, and the coaching points on each play, so I feel comfortable. When you look at the Eagles defense, just as a runner, as a receiver out of the backfield or split and wide or whatever, what are the the, the principal challenges they present to you? They have a good pass rush, um, and then their DBs play well in timing and their backer, you know, all the things I said earlier, they, they fly to the ball well, um, you know, they have a good pass rush, so that helps a lot, you know, for us, it's just about executing the play call, though, Kyle knows all that stuff, and he knows exactly where he wants to go with the ball, it's just us, up to us to be able to go out there, do it full speed, and play beyond the X's and O's. What does that mean, play well in timing? Um, you mean, like, you us? You said their defense backs play well in timing. Yeah, I think they know, you know, they, they feel the rush and when it comes, and so they able to get some you know big play opportunities in the secondary and some turnovers doing that and um, you can tell that they play well together so um, you know there's challenges all over the field and it's gonna like I said be up to us to exploit them. Christian has been so good on both sides of the ball this year in terms of turnovers and winning that uh, turnover battle. Uh, the, the ball beating here I guess that you guys have every week at that is that something you had in, in places before and what, what gets it accomplished in those, in those meetings? Yeah I think everyone always preaches you know the ball is the most important thing you know it's it's a 30 minute meeting here and it's very important and I think it's just a, a consistent understanding of how important the ball is and different techniques that we use to protect the ball in each and every play uh, to form those habits. Christian you have any last one? background with your dad playing what, what do you lean on him at all when you're this close to a game that he's been in before and, and what's that relationship like where you're at right now? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, he has so much wisdom. He's played in a lot of these big games. And, you know, the thing he would probably tell me is do the same thing you do every week. You know, I, I treat every game like a big game. This whole team does. Uh, every day is, uh, you know, very intentionally sound on, on perfecting your craft and getting better. Um, just to keep doing what you're doing and execute at a high level and take it one play at a time and execute that play. I say the word execute a lot because it's really what it comes down to is just making sure that, on every single play, you're doing your job at a high level. Christian, what's the mental process like if you know you don't succeed early in the run game to be able to stick with it, wear him down, hopefully to affect the game later? Just trust and patience. You know, you never know which one is going to be the one to pop, and you never know when the, the rhythm is going to start. So it's just trust and patience. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.